Good morning, everyone. Wow, did we luck out. Look at the sky. Yes, we did. Days and days of rain, but we, we lucked out this morning. Thank you. Thank you. We have lots to be thankful for, is what yes. I'm trying to say. Good morning, everybody. My name is Susan Lloyd. I'm actually the president and CEO here of Delaware Hospice, and it's my duty this morning to welcome all of you. Um, I know that uh, all of you have had experience with Delaware Hospice, and we're just delighted to have you come back today and help to honor and remember our loved ones. I'd like to take a moment and introduce you briefly to a couple people that are in our crowd today. These are members of our board. And Laura Roblin. Now I heard that Gene Donnelly's here. I haven't seen him yet. I heard right there he is. Good morning, Gene. <laughs> and then I want to introduce John Ward. Um, all of these are members of our board of trustees, all volunteers from the community. a lot of time to the organization to support us and, and make sure that we have the resources that we need to do the job that we do every day. I also want to take a moment and recognize the other members of the staff here. Could each staff member of Delaware Hospice raise your hand, please? I don't need to tell you how awesome these people are. It's my job to support them every day, and I'm very proud to be in their presence and be a part of this organization. We're going to move right into our reflection time this morning. I'm going to turn it over to Marge. Marge? Good morning. I am chaplain for Sussex County. I have been with the organization a year. And I will say it has been an awesome, awesome year. I does, is it? Can you all hear me? No. Yeah. No. 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 no the speaker's not working. Okay. I have been thinking about these bricks uh, for several weeks, as I've looked forward to be a, being a part of this wonderful day. It occurred to me that bricks have been used as paving material for centuries. Some of those pathways were still exist in the ancient cities of Europe and the Near East. You can walk on those paths and experience the wonder of traveling in the footsteps of people from ages past. You all, you all share a journey, a pathway on which you have traveled. You have walked beside your loved ones as they came to the end of their journey. You cared for them. You loved them. You supported them in their joys and their struggles. You talked with them, sharing stories from their past and yours. You sat with them in silence when words were no longer needed. You may have laughed with them, you may have cried with them. And in the end, you released them to continue on their journey, accompanied by those we cannot see to the place that we only can wonder about. By placing the names of your loved ones on this walkway, you have provided a powerful reminder to everyone who walks on this path that life is a journey. And on that journey, we meet people who touch our hearts, who challenge our minds, who make us laugh and cry. People from this day forward will walk here and wonder about your loved ones. Who were they? What was important to them? Who loved them and who did they love? What did they work for? What made them laugh? Where did their journey take them? What gave their lives meaning? Only you will know the answers to those questions. But the rest of us will know that these people touched <coughs> someone's heart. These people were important to someone. These people lived out their days in the company of those who love them. And your loved ones will continue to impact the lives of others because your donations make it possible for the continued work of Delaware Hospice. We can provide end of life care for those who cannot afford it. So I thank you, first of all, for giving us the privilege of caring for your loved ones 
The trust you place in us is humbling, and we hold that trust tenderly as we provide care for all of our patients. And I thank you for paying it forward for helping us provide care for other patients and families. We are profoundly grateful for your presence here today. May your journey into the future be filled with the memories of those you have loved and lost. May you find peace and grace in all that you do. And please return to this place when you need a reminder of the one with whom you have journeyed. Now I invite, a fam if there are a couple or three family members who would like to say something uh, about their hospice or about their loved one. Sure. Mm -hmm. Good morning. First, I would like to thank the Delaware Hospice for everything as truly the care that my mother received from them was indeed outstanding, as well as the help that I received from them. I am truly blessed to be here today, to be able to honor my mother, Eleanor Laura Miller. She was almost 94 years old. My mother is a truly beautiful soul. She always put her family, us, first. She was a very self-sacrificing person. And this is the perfect way to honor her because she always had such deep compassion for those who suffer, for any living thing that suffers. She was also a very charitable person and indeed charitable of heart. And my father and I, we shall cherish her in our hearts forever. Love lives forever. And if my mother were standing here today, she would say, you must carry on. You must live your life and live it with passion. You must enjoy every moment of life because life is a gift. It is a blessing and you must follow your path and keep the faith because there is a glorious heaven that awaits us all filled with peace and love with God where we will all be together forever. And so my dear sweet mother, Eleanor Laura Miller, rest in peace with God in heaven above. And one day, when it is our time, we shall meet again, and we will join you, and we will all be together forever. God bless. Amen. Is there another one? Would like to say something? My husband, Ron Ashley, passed here on July 17, 2015. He was here for three short days, and we were together for 44 years. The day we brought him in here, I wanted to keep him at home, but the pain got so bad that he asked me, hospital. And Reverend Taylor, Ashley, our nurse, the counselors here, everybody, they are the most wonderful, compassionate people you'd ever want to meet. And I thank God that hospice is here for people when the time comes for them. He passed right over in room number 11, and the nurse came in and told me it wasn't going to be very long. She said, possibly to Sunday. My children had just left. It was a Friday evening. And no sooner did they get home, when she told me it wasn't going to be long, I thought, well, we had till Sunday, but we had that Friday night together. And the nurse let me have my cuddle time with him the day before. I thought, when she told me about cuddle time, I'm like, what, what, are, what, are, what do you mean? And they, they positioned him in the bed as comfortable as he could be and helped me get in there with him and just hold him. And that was the biggest gift I could have gotten. And in memory of that, I ordered one of those memory bears. And if you want one of those, that is a thing to buy or donate for. You get to pick a, you know, an item that they wore. I picked one of the shirts that he just looked so handsome in. And I cuddle with that every single night. It's really worth, you know, the gift that you can give to get one of those because it actually feels like he is hugging me. And again, I just like to thank Hospice 
for everything that they do. And they'll be here forever for anybody that goes through the heartache that we've all been through. Thank you. Is there like one other? If there is no other, then I will invite Susan Lloyd back. Oh, sorry, There's, here comes one more. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm honored to be able to speak here. My sister, my aunt, and my cousins are here. We're honoring our, our mother, our aunt, uh, Dorothy. And I, I'm a Catholic priest, so when we went with hospice, they asked my sister, would you like a chaplain? And I said, no, I think I could handle that part for my, for my family and mom. But the chaplaincy was available, and we appreciate that. I just also want to say that Delaware Hospice is an amazing organization. Um, I've been through many people dying, but never obviously at this intimate level with our mother, my sister and I, Lisa. And um, they guided us and helped us every step of the way, and we can't speak enough about them. We had Latrina as our nurse, and we were very impressed by her, and she was very, very much with us in that whole journey, which was for us about four months. Um, our mother was 82, and like all of you, we have those very special memories that we will never forget, that she has touched our lives, and we're honored to be a part of this walkway, and as everyone's saying, to honor our own loved ones, but to help others to, um, to go forward by our help and our donations here. So I just will thank Delaware Hospice for all that you've done. Uh, it's been an amazing journey for us, and we're happy that we're, we're here almost one year um, uh, later after her death. So thank you for letting me speak, and I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. It's such an intimate thing to talk about your loss. It's such a hard thing at times, but we appreciate that you would take the time to tell us and to share with us about your experience. The work we do is very precious. The time that you allow us to spend with you and your family is just an honor. Thank you so much. In uh, closing today, we want to offer to you that you can do a brick rubbing of the bricks that you have purchased. Uh, Sue, so you have this stuff somewhere. I turn around, she's not there, but back there somewhere is Sue. And there is um, the ability for you to make a rubbing of your brick if you would like to do that. We were a little worried about wet and rain, but it looks like it's all gonna work out. We also have refreshments back in the building, so we encourage you to, to share in our continued fellowship this morning and be with us. If any of you are not familiar with the building, we will offer tours to you as well. I know many of you have been here and spent time, but for those of you that would like to have a tour and are curious, please, please come. So once again, we thank you all for being with us. Uh, one other thing that I would like to do before um, I quit talking is I'd like the volunteers of Delaware Hospice to raise their hands. This ceremony doesn't come together without them. Volunteers. We feel so fortunate because uh, I don't know that most people understand this, but we have about four volunteers to every staff member in our organization. Yes, sir. Okay. I understand. Okay. Okay. You want to say? Okay. You go right ahead. Okay. Go right ahead. I'll hold this, or do you want to hold it? You hold it, because I'm going to I'm allowed to talk. <laughs> Go for it. This ain't easy, but I'm going to do the best I can for this. My wife passed away in August. Love was ours, meant to be. For a never once valid. You were my reason for living. I won't lie. I wish I was with you. But you had other plans for me. Took a while to understand. Now I see your plan. Your son has become my best friend. He may never be smart as others. In fact, he needs help every day. 
You let him teach me to take care, even when I could not bear. He's a handful, but I ain't gonna complain. Because in him, I see you there. Now, a lot of people, they would disagree. But between me and you, we don't care. For your plan was clear, and I do it every day. Love him for who he is. Care for him as he needs. Yes, I miss you more and more each day that goes by. But there's him, and he needs someone to care. We do it all now, thanks to you. He wants for nothing but your love, and you gave it to him. I see him when he talks, walks, dances. This day we set aside for you, even though we are blue. In our hearts, we know that you are with us. I thank you all for let me do this. I didn't mean to, mean to get it on this way. Anyone else? Okay, well this will conclude our ceremony for this, for this morning, but please do stay, have refreshments with us, say hi, catch up. Thank you.